So this frog has damage to its right front leg and it's been attacked to have some sort of trauma. So he's lost his right leg up to the level of the humerus. So what we're going to do is anaesthetize to assess the wound and to debride it, so to tidy it up and to put the bone back in where it needs to be. So hopefully he'll be fine and not get infection and not be in pain. So we use MS222, which is a fish and amphibian anesthetic. We just sprinkle a small amount into the water and we just agitate it around a little bit and then we just got to give it a few minutes to work. So he's quite jumpy at the moment, nearly. And so wait for that powder to take effect and if it doesn't start to work um, shortly then we can always add a little bit more powder. We try and add it bit by bit because once we add it we can't really take it away. So adding it gradually, seeing how they go. So the problem we have here is he's damaged his leg. The bone is sticking through at the bottom here. So it's all quite damaged underneath. We haven't got much spare tissue here. We've got some spare skin over the top. So what we're going to do is remove all of this. Um, and there's the end of his bone there that's, that's free. She's still attached to a bit of muscle there. So that's the end of his humerus, which is yeah, clearly shattered. So we'll take that off, but also we've got the end here. So we just need to tidy this up a bit for him, reduce this bone back a little bit and then close it. So he's got a more functional amputation rather than the traumatic amputation he's suffered. So, I think the easiest and straight, most straightforward way is to free this tissue up just a little bit first. I'm wearing magnification so I can see things in a lot more detail than you can appreciate with the naked eye. So it just makes life a little bit easier. It means I can do things with a little bit more accuracy in these very small tissues. So we're going to use some scissors to trim that bone back, this isn't very pleasant, so look away if you're a bit squeamish. It's just the end of the bone. Off. Doesn't look very big, but just to take that back. And now yeah, that's nice and tidy. So now we just need to work out how much tissue we need to go over the top. So not too much. You might notice there's some stitches in this already. So triage earlier, we'll have just put a couple of stitches in there just to try and cover the end to prevent further damage. So that's what we do. So we perform initial assessment and some initial triage just to make them stable and stop the damage getting any worse. So we're gonna trim this end off first. Got another stitch there, we can just take that out. We've got the remnants of a tendon, which we can just remove because it's not going into the muscle anymore. So now we just need to see how much we have to cover. So we've still got quite a lot of spare tissue here, quite a lot of spare muscle, so I think we can lose that little bit there. There might be some blood vessels in here, but we can always tie it off if it bleeds. That's okay. So what we're gonna do, an awful lot of space on the underside, and it's quite still quite a lot of muscle. What we're gonna do is we're gonna bring this back over the top. And try and close it all in there. So we'll do that with some stitches now.
one stitch and maybe a second, maybe a third. We'll just see what space we need to cover. Let's cover that quite nicely so almost definitely just a second stitch here will be enough. And then you'll be done. Swab the end and check there's no gaps. Right, that looks nicely sealed and I'm going to put a small amount of tissue glue just on the edge. Just to try and seal it so he's watertight. 